Greetings. Welcome again to The Razor's Edge. I'm your host, Roy Williams, and it's a pleasure to be with you again coming into your home. And we have this evening a great show. Uh, we have my co-host, Mr. Yahara Gashad, and I have also with me a brother from Nigeria by the name of Chut Okayi from Nigeria. And I'm going to get his name right before the evening is over. So welcome. Yahara, uh, give us an update on uh, our African report, if you will. Um, City Hall lobby, and um, there will be a, a Christmas tree lightning uh, which celebration, will, celebration mm -hmm. which will be opened by the uh, mayor of Dallas from Africa. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we have a fashion show on the 5th, and okay. I would like everybody to... Uh, join me there and uh, we'll have also Kim Dawson agency and Kim Dawson herself. Uh, it's going to be a very uh, elegant show it sounds elegant, like. Yeah, it's elegant elegant show and, and cultural and historical mm -hmm. uh, so Nigerians. Be traditional western fashion or I mean what will it be Well wearing? Kim Dawson will uh, Kim Dawson will represent uh, of course mm -hmm. the western and Ethiopian and uh, Ethiopian will be represented by Ethiopian designer mm -hmm. and uh, a lady uh, by the name of uh, Haimanot and um, she has been designing and sewing clothes for uh, the last 30 years mm -hmm. and she lives here so she will provide all the Ethiopian dress mm -hmm. and uh, the models. And okay, how many models will be involved in this? We'll have female and three Male. Male, okay. And they will and be. And Nigeria, from the same thing. Okay, so. We uh, have six from Nigeria and six from yeah. Ethiopia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, well, you know, the committee decided to have Kim Dawson Agency professional models mm -hmm. to, to be on the runway. Mm -hmm. But uh, I didn't accept that because I would like to see Ethiopians wearing our, dr you know, our dress and yeah. uh, with real Ethiopian look, with real Ethiopians, mm -hmm. and Nigerians, the same thing, because mm -hmm. that's everyday people, that's, uh, yeah, that's you know, the, the real people, yeah, so they, they allow us. Okay. Uh, who's, so who's it's going to be on, on yeah. in Ethiopian. Is this the Hope 93 project that yes. I did? Yes, holidays of people everywhere. Okay. And it was found by a lady, she was a diplomat for a long time, but that the history, I mean, we can't really... You can't, you can't uh, negate you know, history. Deny you the can't history. Deny it, no. yeah. yeah. And uh, he has done a lot for the country, in a way. He has done a lot for the country. How long was he king? The, I think about almost 50 years, yeah. you know. And uh, he has done a lot. Um, when the emperor was on power, I remember Ethiopia was very, very peaceful place mm -hmm. to live mm -hmm. because I grew up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, may, I mean, people were had this uh, ethnic problem, mm -hmm. all division, and all this. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, when the uh, socialist government took over, which is the ex-government now, mm -hmm. things change. A lot of killing, a lot of a lot of chaos, a lot of violence, a lot of uh, yeah. And then Ethiopian people, before that, we never left our country for the sake of just, you know, uh, survival, mm -hmm. you know. But everything happened after the fall of the emperor. Mm -hmm. uh, Ethiopians used to leave the country uh, for education reason. To where? To go to Europe? To go to Europe, Paris, mm -hmm. I mean France or England or German or mm -hmm. also here to America mm -hmm. and, and different places mm -hmm. and then go back home. Yeah, take but the learning back home. Yes, mm -hmm. but um, after the emperor, as that's the reason why, I mean, you know, that Ethiopians are living in this country, like mm -hmm. in Dallas, where more, more than 7,000 7, people at this time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just because the situation is not good mm -hmm. and uh, it's not safe. There's no job. There's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a political problem mm -hmm. than, than economical problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the uh, socialist government is gone mm -hmm. about almost three years ago now. And we do have another problem because the people and a lot of political uh, positional mm -hmm. groups uh, we would like to see election to take place, Le and we would like to see a democrat, you know, democratic government. Right. 
So still it's very hard and uh, according to uh, State Department about four days ago um, I have been told the meeting will take place from 18 and his name is Melas Zainawi. Mm -hmm. And how long has he been in that position? Almost three years. Almost driving economical factor in, uh, in Nigeria. I mean, what, what is the gross product there? Oil. Oil? Oil, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's and, uh, big time. Huh? Big time. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> uh, besides Saudi Arabia and, uh, and Kuwait, actually, Nigeria is the third largest supplier of oil to mm -hmm. the United States. Mm -hmm. and so well, what about agriculture? Is agriculture uh, a big thing in Nigeria? It is. Uh, palm oil. Okay, you know, and primarily kind of in, in, in the, in the realm of uh, agriculture, what do we have? Uh, you soybeans? Uh, uh, we have uh, uh, peanut, uh, peanut, uh, peanuts? Uh, peanuts, you know, we call it granites down mm -hmm. there. And they have oil. Cocoa is one of our largest exporting products there. And uh, we have the pan canal they mm -hmm. use, and, and then some soybeans. Mm -hmm. But then again, we do have a lot of mineral resources. Yeah. And, and do you uh, not have a... Uh, 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 export? Do you export a lot of goods out of Nigeria to uh, yeah. Europe and uh, oh, yeah. Western world? Right, exactly. What are some of the, some of the products that uh, all these products that I mentioned, other than oil. Oh uh, well, recently uh, textile, textile has textile has become one mm -hmm. of uh, almost like the third largest uh, export mm -hmm. uh, revenue for mm -hmm. us right now. Mm -hmm. As you can see, mm -hmm. uh, everywhere you go, you see a lot of African right. Nigerian products. And Nigerian yeah, I see clothing. them all over. And there's a large Nigerian community here in Dallas. What what do you think that uh, Nigerian community uh, uh, entails, I mean, as oh. far as population is concerned. What is the population here in the metropolitan? Uh, actually, it's well over 10,000. Over. It's right. larger than the Ethiopian Almost, somewhat. Almost, yeah, somewhat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the good thing about it is that I think people are just now beginning to uh, uh, venture into the Nigerian community because they have their own individual cultural identities, and each group tries to do something every weekend to manifest those uh, cultural uh, affairs mm -hmm. and if you go to some of these events you will be really really pleased mm -hmm. to do, learn more where, about where, what are some of the activities that take place oh uh, such as yeah, such as for instance there will be another one next weekend at a place called the floyd road uh, mm -hmm. dance hall mm -hmm. and they do hold some events at the uh, airport inn in irving mm -hmm. you know, some bingo places off of garland road mm -hmm. yeah that's Saturday. their main place the bingo <laughs> bingo <laughs> yes yeah, yeah. 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 Bingo. yeah. I have spoken yeah, so. several times, mm -hmm. you know, and I have, I have seen that. Okay, yes. and excuse uh, me one moment. We have a caller here. You're on the razor's edge. Thank you. I was interested in the gentleman's art and where I might see some of that. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, actually, uh, my phone number is uh, record 214 324 9188. In dollars. Okay, I think what the lady was asking, do you have exhibits uh, around the city in right. different galleries? Well, oh, okay, well, actually, I think most of the galleries in the area do carry my work, and uh, they have all my prints. How do you give to one of uh, them? Ebony Fine Art, for, for example, has my work, and Taylor do carry my work also. Okay. Where what about are Stephanie? Uh, mm -hmm. Stephanie do carry my work okay, too uh, in the northern part, uh, North yeah, Dallas. Uh, North Dallas. Stephanie has a very fine gallery and, right. and is well represented throughout the community. And she's uh, yeah. But yeah. one more thing is that I do. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people don't get into original paintings, okay. and for you to see those things, you have to come to my studio. Okay. And what is your number again? The number is Erico two one four three two four nine one eight eight. And he doesn't have any samples there tonight, right? <laughs> I do have some, of course. He just happened to have some that <laughs> was on at the beginning of the program, I right. think, and we possibly will be cutting away to some of those uh, as the evening progresses. Thank you. Thank you. I think, they, I think they're using a lot of cow leather hides nowadays rather than the you know wildlife. Uh, okay, because I, I know there's a yeah. big movement against, you know, yeah. taking... And second, the second was yeah. charred, by the way, because we have to yeah. give, you know, yeah. we have yeah. to, to give all inf at least, you know, some information. Let's okay. talk about, if we can, let's, let's go outside of uh, Ethiopia and Nigeria and move to the s southern uh, part of the continent, southern Africa. Right. Uh, we know that there's a lot of activity there uh, with uh, Comrade Mandela and uh, uh, all the activity that's going around the a a ANC and uh, the other uh, with uh, Chief Budalazi and right. the clerk. Uh, wh what do you see transpiring in that region? Do you think there would be a uh, semi-pseudo-peaceful uh, 
transition uh, uh, in April? Uh, what do you foresee from your... Well, um, it's not going to be a, a peaceful transition for sure. Why not? Because there will be a lot of clashes between the ethnic groups mm -hmm. within the black community, which mm -hmm. people don't seem to know about. And it's always an ethnic clash around there. Mm -hmm. And of course, the white um, group will also try to gather some kind of uh, support from those other minorities that they want to fight among each other. Is this so the Browns and Africanos? Uh, well, the Africanos trying to deal with maybe the Zulus or another group within mm -hmm. the, uh, the ethnic group there. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that they have to be able to really work together to form a coalition that will enable them to deal with the white minority in general. Mm -hmm. If they can't do it, it's going to be the same divide and, uh, and fall kind of situation. Well, let me ask you this. Is Nigeria, uh, I would think since they're in the, in the general region, are they involved or do they support Mandela, the oh, ANC? Yeah. Uh, you know. yeah, everybody fact, Nigeria has been a forerunner yeah. in, uh, in a, you know, really fighting against apartheid. You know, yeah, forwards. everybody's supporting that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they've done a lot yeah. of work in really, mm -hmm. you know, supporting them and mm -hmm. actually stopping a lot of goods flowing into mm -hmm. the rest of West Africa, you know, that mm -hmm. is coming from South, Af South mm -hmm. Africa, mm -hmm. you know, since the we, early 70s. We, we had a visitation here uh, back uh, a couple of months ago, uh, uh, Joe uh, Ketch, from, uh, who's the city council president from uh, Kenya. From Kenya. Mm -hmm. And uh, he uh, was talking about doing an exchange. This is a very unique piece here. Uh, uh, <sighs> oh, Brent, yeah. Tell us what it is. It's called the Rites of Passage. Uh, it's just one of my uh, newest paintings that has just present the, uh, the, the heritage of the Oba Kingdom, mm -hmm. which is one of the greatest kingdoms in the, in the region at the mm -hmm. time, in the early mm -hmm. 16th and 17th century. And uh, we've used that to identify with black heritage in general. Mm -hmm. That's, so that's, that, uh, is that pencil or, I mean, what no, is No, that's that? acrylic. A acrylic. No, that's an that's acrylic paint. Now, is this, on, uh, is this particular painting available in the galleries throughout the Metroplex? Yes. Like Stephanie's and, and uh, Ann Taylor's and, right. and other uh, black. Uh, yes, and in fact, you can even call us and we can, we do okay. direct mail order. And All we right, now let's you. go to the next one, which is up at the top, which seems to be uh, uh, some type of a uh, ritual. Oh, uh, yeah. Give us, uh, give us oh, a this synopsis of this. Yeah, that's a limited edition of only 900 copies that I had decided to uh, produce just uh, about a month ago. And it's called the Moonlight Dance, and it signifies the uh, dancing rituals when young girls are initiated into a womanhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, they do it between the age of uh, 17, actually 14 and 18 years of, of age. And uh, there's a lot of rituals that go with it, the, uh, the decoration of the body, the pigments, and all the dance practices. Mm -hmm. And then during the summer program, they have to come okay. to the uh, yeah. King's Palace yeah. to uh, go through all those rituals. And it's a very symbolic thing in Nigeria, especially mm -hmm. in the land where I came from. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is very interesting, and we hope to uh, get more uh, uh, of your, your work in as uh, uh, the days and months, and we invite you back. You know, I, I okay. think you've done, you, you, you're an outstanding artist, man, and I think uh, those of us here in the Metroplex have a lot to look for in the future from your work. I mean, I'm very inspired by this work. This work has a, 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 a great uh, expression. I mean, it, it, it has a, a meaning that, that just comes right off of the, uh, the canvas. And uh, right. I'm very inspired by having uh, the opportunity to make your acquaintance as well <laughs> as to have you on the show. And I think you have a prosperous future here. Thank you so what much. What are the, some of the things that you're interested in doing? Uh, uh, have you contacted Mr. Harry Robinson out at the, uh, <laughs> the uh, Museum right. of African American Culture and Life? Yes. In fact, I was there for the grand opening last okay. Saturday. In fact, mm -hmm. I think some a few folks uh, saw me there who've, who've mm -hmm. been my, uh, who know me and have seen my work. Mm -hmm. Everybody was asking me if I'm going to be Tell a, us a what, you, what you saw take place there. I, I didn't get uh, a chance to make the occasion. Give well, us an overview. They, of they had a, an, a, a touring exhibition of some Senegalese art from West Africa. Mm -hmm. And they also had some work from a, a, a cover. Um, mm -hmm. I don't remember the name. I think it's Pierce. Mm -hmm. And a bunch of other kind of folk art. Mm -hmm. you know. Some of them I'm familiar with, some I'm not. Mm -hmm. uh, there was some good impact, you know, on, on the kind of work that I saw there. But then again, it doesn't, most of the painting didn't have the kind of uh, impact on the uh, uh, audience, 
the way they had anticipated the black art should be, especially from what they buy from the stories. And what do you think? was the uh, reasoning behind it not taking um, the effect that uh, uh the selection process you know the museum seems to have a certain curriculum they follow mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of times it's all has to do with politics and preservation that as it is bringing out the best and seeing what the contemporary artists are doing mm -hmm. uh it was quite unlike my own experience in nigeria where when i go to a museum i'm over overwhelmed mm -hmm. you know that i could mm -hmm. draw some inspiration from what i see mm -hmm. Uh, I didn't see it in the faces of the kids that I saw down there. They were just browsing through it. Maybe in few pieces they were kind of captivated by it. Also maybe, don't you think because maybe we're not involved? I mean, Africans are not really involved in that a lot. No, I in saw. In terms of, you know, counseling and all this. Uh, that could be yeah. it too because uh, I, I did sh uh, put in my works, some of my slides to um, Harry Harbinson when she was when he was making some selection for the uh, permanent displays. Mm -hmm. okay. Unfortunately, I wasn't selected, and mm -hmm. uh, I didn't care because I found out that the kind of work they were selecting may be meeting their needs, but it doesn't conform to the kind of art that they really want to collect. And I find out that most of the work they have in there are either donated or they paid less than a thousand dollars for. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, my kind of work, even though they are, they are priced a little higher, are something that I think any museum that acquires will be a permanent impact on the people. So mm -hmm. that even when somebody buys the painting, a print somewhere in the galleries, they can go to the museum and say, this is where the thing belongs. Mm -hmm. And I believe that I've, I've made an impact in the world that even if I die today, I'm not gonna go out and say, well, I've not done well. Mm -hmm. So, and I so you mean they have to, to buy the, uh, they should be the able art to, 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 exactly. to put it there? They, sh they should be able to really strive to collect uh, quality work uh, okay. rather than mm -hmm. let the corporations buy it for them and then donate it because mm -hmm. by doing that, you're not looking at it critically. You don't criticize the work that you're buying, and you don't have the kind of impact that you're going to have in the community in the long run. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think. You see, I don't know do. much about this art and museum, so y so me. we shouldn't give them, you know, like like you and uh, other, you know, other artists shouldn't. I think. Uh, Present, uh, you know, a gift yeah. like in the name of the country, or just you don't think it's important to leave, you know, yourself, your job, you know, your work, and the history of the Dallas Museum. I don't know how to art works. So I'm just well, asking. art. I think art should be uh, should be collected, especially for a museum, should be collected on the basis of uh, cultural awareness, mm -hmm. uh, the 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 direction and the dream or the image or the message that the artist is trying to create. And that's why I started writing about my painting, because mm -hmm. people will always ask me, say something about it. Well, share <laughs> something since you've written something. <laughs> share it with us, if you will. Well, I have a piece called Ancestral Legacy. It's not on display right now. But okay. what I said about it, I said, this painting represents the wealth of knowledge and wisdom that are available to mm -hmm. all the descendants of Mother Africa. Mm -hmm. And I said, we, the people of African descent, have to know how far we've come throughout the history of mankind in order to know where we're going. A good understanding of the achievement of our forefathers can only enrich us in reaching for higher goals in our lives. The social and cultural values that we set for our kids and, uh, and ourselves will only help to keep the legacy alive for the future generation to live on. Okay, now what is this no, called? The, uh, the ancestral legacy? Yes. Okay, uh, I think we may have that. If uh, right, we here. can cut away to that, we might can uh, expose that. Uh, if we get a shot here, uh, that's, uh, that's a very part of uh, your work. Yeah, that's just my huh? work. It seems that this hour has gone very quickly, my exactly. brother. It, it so, fleets. by the way, so in this, do we have? Since you know we are running out of time, right. do you have um, like Ethiopians and uh, uh, Liberians, other Africans in that? Uh, organization uh, yeah no in okay. fact I'm gonna take this opportunity to give you uh, my phone number you can okay. call me if you want to be okay, a member. okay so we'll, we'll put together everybody yeah. then all right give everyone everyone everyone. Out if you will the please. number is uh, record 214-324-9188 and uh, your name my name is Chuk Sokoye um, I'm a resident artist and if I'm not there Jonathan will answer the phone and uh, the most important thing about it is that we want every member every, anybody who's of African descent to be there if you're an American of if you're from African countries or if you're in the Caribbean, please call and we would like to give you direction on how to register and be a member of this organization. So when's it going to be once again, the date? What is the date? The, the date is in December 11th, 1993. Okay. And in closing, we want to thank everyone for tuning in, the callers for calling in, and in your native tongue, my yes, sister. Yes, and in your native tongue, my brother. Dalona, thank you. Dalona for you again to invite me. Boys, I can't
And then uh, uh, Ghetto Knees, good night. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in two weeks. Catch you for